Hello guys, today I'm here with the Leap Motion, which is a brand new motion sensor sort of little rectangular 3D shape. It has different sensors around, around it and as you can see it's tiny, look at it compared to even a magic mouse, it's tiny. It costs £70 off Amazon.co.uk, which I found was cheaper than ordering it off the LeapMotion.com website, including you know, shipping, taxes, because it's American. So anyway, let me just show you what this motion controller can, uh, what this Leap Motion can do for such a cheap price. Let's start with the orientation here. And let's just, let me show you how good it is. So as you see, it shows what it's called, a bit of advertising. It gives you instructions there. So now this is what it sees, you see those things? That's my hand, so I think I should swipe past the next thing. It has different sort of things to get you started. You see it's more or less the same. Now this is what it sees. Actually, this shows you how amazingly advanced this is. It can track all 10 fingertips, and this is literally what it sees. You see, they're my hands. Move that one a bit, move them. You see? And it has a certain radius, so if I go too far back, you see it's quite big. It doesn't see it anymore. Cross, same thing forward same but it's got such a big i think it's five feet by five feet radius for to go back so it's amazingly advanced you should look at it it can track your fingertips or your whole hand basically and it has 10 points you can use so this could be used for playing the piano maybe instruments imagine games like that and design you can turn stuff around but anyway let's enough playing around for all that. Another thing you can do, which I have to be honest, is really it's quite hard, well, it's not that hard, is you can draw with it. So you see, first you want to choose a place you want to start drawing. And you put your hand in as if it was a pen and you can draw with it. You see, move it back. It works really, really well, I have to say. See that? Maybe two fingers. It's so advanced. I'm just, I keep saying this, but for 70 quid, it's an absolute bargain. So that was the startup thing that it comes with once you install the program. It's called the orientation. Now I want to show you what you can do with it. First I'll show it playing a game, then how you can control your Mac with it, two different ways. So let's just start off with um, Cut the Rope, really popular Android game. And this is all on what they call the Leap uh, Airspace, which is sort of the Play Store of Leap Motion and the App Store of Leap Motion. So, whoops, I should just use my finger. Start with level one. See there's a mouse. So anyway, let's get started. You want to sort of move in like that. If you just stay where it is, it won't count as a cut. So you want to move in and cut across. Okay, that's just me playing really badly. Oops. You see, it's effortless. It's effortless. Effortless. Nor am I. You see, it's so easy, Arthur. Come on, get in there. Whatever. I messed up. So, there you see that's the game. And it works really well. Just press escape if you want to 
stop playing it. So that was one game. You also have another game called Drop Chord, but I don't want to show you all the games I have at the moment. As you can see, also it can be used for science and school, just school in general, education, molecules, shows you different molecules for stuff. So next thing I want to show it controlling my Mac. So I just prep download Touchless for Mac because that doesn't actually come with it. Neither does Cut the Rope. You download them from the Airspace store and the stuff I'm showing you is all free. So you want to go there and press Interaction Basic just to show you. Then I might as well do it with my hand, you see? Let's open the plate, Safari. And you see you can control it. Let me just go on. It's got really bad ratings in the airspace store. Because obviously, as this is so brand new, there's always bound to be some problems. So let's just go on Facebook. And let me just scroll down. I've got two fingers. Just as if it was a mouse, you want to go up to scroll down. You see, it's not doesn't work that well. There are some minor little, you know, lag and stuff like that. But for a first, after some updates, it'll be great, trust me. So you see, you can just navigate around. And to click, you should go in like that. So click into a picture, click out of it, scroll down, click into a video. Pause it, play it, pause it, next thing. You see, it's actually, I'm actually showing it quite well. Quite proud of myself. So that is, I'll get off that now. I just go in here, interaction disable. So that is called Touchless for Mac. And as I said, it has bad ratings, but I think it's a bit exaggerated. It's all right. So the next thing which you can navigate with, and I think this is really cool, it's called Better Touch Tool. Now this, unlike the other thing, is quite reliable. So you can add different gestures for your um, leap motion, and it will do it for you. So, single finger up is left click, and two fingers up is right click. You see, let me show you there. You see that right click? And one up. Well, it won't show you, obviously, until I go over something. You see, it clicks. So that's why I wasn't doing anything. Right click again. You see? Now, you can add different stuff you want to do. So I'll just add one to show you. Hopefully you can see this well enough. So configure new leap gesture. Then let's say single finger counterclockwise and that will be volume volume up and then another one single finger clockwise will be volume down. So now I've set that up, it took me a few seconds, let me just show you what I mean. You see anti-clockwise, the volume's going up, and the other way it's going down. It is so cool, the amount of things you can do, look, I'll play a video. Wait for some more. <laughs> And just turn it down by using a finger. Finger. It's so. It's. There are infinite possibilities. Look, these are just the amount of possibilities you have. These are the things you can use with your hand, and then these are the actions. Now you see, if I open them all up, how many actions there are. It's unreal. The amount of stuff you can do with. 10 fingers on a Mac or on a Windows PC too. 
it's an absolutely great gadget. I'm not just saying this, but this is by far, along with maybe the Chromecast, but I think this beats that even. The best gadget 2013 without a doubt, and the price is shockingly cheap. So, to end it, let me just show you this, I might as well. So you see, if you want to, I should just maybe use one hand, if you want to go around the molecule, move it around, go in, go out to zoom in, you see that? Now you must know what I mean by the fact it can be used for designing stuff. Imagine this was, for example, a t-shirt, you want to turn around or a jump or architecture. Imagine that's a house, a bit of a weird one. Imagine the possibilities. you got your room, whatever you want. You turn it around, you want to add a TV there. Click TV, put it in, zoom in, see how it looks like. It's just great. Especially educational purposes is also an amazing thing. So that's it for my Leap Motion of No Video. I haven't got the title yet. Showing all the possibilities you can do, you can use with this tiny little gadget which is the size of a gum packet so thanks for watching guys comment subscribe check me out on twitter links in the description peace out